Yulian Fawat was born in 1853 near Lvov in what is now Ukraine. Later in his life, he ended up here in Bystra, just outside of Bielsko Biała, where he died in 1929. He was one of the most famous of all Polish painters. He was an impressionist, he did lots of watercolours. And today I'm going to the Fawatkova, or Fawatówka, I think it's called. Basically, it was his house, which is still here in Bystra. It's a lovely little museum. It's a little bit out of the way, but it's a great thing to come and visit. Um, to get here, you can take the number 57 local bus with a four zloty ticket from the centre of Bielsko. Nice and easy to get to. There's a nice little garden around here as well, which we'll take a look at first with some little wooden carved statues. And then we're going to go inside the house itself to have a look around. It's a small museum, but it's a nice one. With Closely Observed World, I'm Christopher Walker. Come and join me. Dzień dobry. W jakiej cenie są bilety? Od dzisiaj mamy wolne. Akurat od dzisiaj? Proszę? Akurat od dzisiaj? Akurat od dzisiaj. Także. O mamy. Jestem wolny. No widzisz, mama ci pomaga. Wow, that was nice. So we managed to get in for free today. As you can see the price list up on the board though for a regular visit. This is the first room of the museum. We've got some lovely pictures here. And it tells a bit about the history and life of Julian Fawat. Lots of authentic documents for you to look at. Any historians among you would find this place really fascinating. One shortcoming of the museum is that there really isn't very much in English. There's not very much online about Julian Fawat either. But if you just want to soak up the atmosphere, this is a great place to come. Matty, what do you think? Mm -hmm. So some souvenirs from his travels to different places. himself. There's a nice bust in the entrance for him. And this is quite a nice self-portrait.
So here we see some of the bigger pieces that Powat produced during his career. He was a Polish Impressionist, but not just an Impressionist. He also painted scenes from nature and from reality. I think he was at his best with the watercolours. And this one is one of my favourites. I love this painting. This is awesome. This one up the top just there, over the door, it's one of his most famous scenes of uh, a frozen winter landscape. And here we see the artist's studio, as it could have been. Yeah, hey, not to sit on. Yeah, not to sit on, is it, Matty? So like I mentioned at the start, it's a small museum, but it is a fascinating one. If you're ever in the neighbourhood, it's definitely worth a trip over. It doesn't cost a lot to get over here. Bistra itself is a nice area. You could use this as a state stopping off point for a, a walk into the mountains. Well, having made my video, I think it's time now to have a closer look at some of these pictures myself. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. And Matilda, you want to say goodbye as well? Bye. Very good. Alright, see you next time.